Right, so now I have to create uh, the pipeline, the continuous integration pipeline for a static website. I have this stock here, which contains, I'm actually updating it, but contains a S3 bucket and the CloudFront distribution. So I'm going to try and add the continuous integration pipeline using CloudFront. I'm sorry, CloudFormation and um, yeah, I'm gonna use code build and code pipeline from AWS. So I'm gonna look for the CloudFormation code pipeline resource, which I'm gonna add it here. I already have the S3 website, so I think. It should fix in this template. I don't want to separate that too much. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if that's too big. And uh, yeah, I think um, I should have a manual manual release. For now, we don't need it. We don't need that uh, to be. So we don't have uh, environment, uh, an environment for staging, an environment for production. We just have production at the moment. So I'm going to create, um, <coughs> a, you know, a single environment pipeline with a manual approval step. So this is the resource. Let's go in here and call it code pipeline. Or pipeline. Just pipeline. Artifact store. Let's see what it says. Change my mind. I think it's better to do it in a separate template. Let's call it uh, let's call it S3 website code pipeline. You know. And uh, yeah, let's copy this. Resources pipeline it's this one okay so artifact to store so why a new, a different template? Because inside of it, I'm going to put, to create high am roles, I'm going to create the code build project, and the pipeline itself, it's quite uh, long, so I'd rather, you know, do it, do it like this, instead of um, having everything inside a single template, because that would become very, uh, very long. Okay, artifact store. Yeah, it's, I think I need just one. And it is required or no? But it's not required. Let's uh, let's keep it for now. Article stores required. No. Disable input inbound stage transitions. Prevent artifact. Prevent artifacts in a pipeline from transitioning to the stage that you specify. This enable you to manually control transition. I'm not sure. Disable inbound stage transition. 
I mean, this property, so I think for disabling, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not really a monolith proof, it's just what well, this won't disable in case you have a pipeline with multiple branches and you want to disable a branch temporarily. You won't create a manual, say manual control, but I don't think it's restart execution on update. So maybe I want a name. I want a name maybe later, depending if I don't like to require too many inputs. Restart execution on update. I think it's not one battery, so I'm gonna do false. Roll arm. The grants a the permission to make call to the on your behalf. Access permission references. This is this is required. So I'm gonna create a code pipeline I am role and I am role are quite authentication meaning and policies. Well I'm not sure what permission it needs so I'm just to create an empty I am role for now. Let's search for it. Find this and just have the reference here. Ref stages. This is, this is where you actually define the pipeline. Let's think about the role for now. Assume rule policy document. It can also be a and an YAM format. something like that it can be in EML and then they will confirmation will translate this into a statement is an array effect allow Which service I'm allowing? I'm allowing code pipeline dot Amazon AWS dot com. What is the action I'm allowing it to do? To assume a role. Assume a role policy document. Is this mandatory? It for now, manage policy arm. Arms, I don't have any. Max session duration. Top permission boundaries. I mean, I don't need this for now. Role name is role name mandatory. Can have a single role for each pipeline, but I'd rather not doing that so I can define access in a more general way. Okay. Is the stages mandatory in here? Can it be empty? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go and create the stock. So is this still in progress? It's not a problem. Create a stock. Let's 
Let's call it CI pipeline. Let's call it code pipeline, it's enough for me. So let's say there is a problem. Line 9 is not well formed. Statement. Version statement. Let me have a look on the example. Okay, it's the same level. Lantern clean. Principal service, think that's correct. Line 13 is still a problem. Assume role policy document. Oh no, it's inside the statement action. So principal service, I see action is in it, SDS assumer, so maybe because of the dots, of the call, the, the column. stock initiated no oh, he managed no he didn't property stages cannot be out Okay, let's work on this then. I wanted to see. I think that even though we didn't have any policy, we don't have any policy in this IAM row, we can create the pipeline and the moment we run it, we will have some errors. So let's go on with the stages, list of stages. So the action. Declaration. Blocker declaration. Schedule. Okay. Name required, yes. So we need to define at least a list of options and a name. So this could be could be named build or it can be also named like um, something like fetch. I'm gonna think to a better name later. And then the actions. Because 
Okay, we now we don't have a production. Um, we don't have a production uh, website, a production environment. We just have, I mean, we just have that that one and uh, nothing else. We don't have development staging, just the production website. So the stages will be like fetch the code, build it, and then after a model approve. Deploy it. And I know that uh, we are building a website with uh, React, so we can set environment uh, variables in the moment we build it. So this means that we should have this for dev and this for staging. And this for cloud. But of course, we don't need to manually approve it here and here. We just need to be um, to approve it for production. But for now, we don't have that, so it would be very linear. So what is this? This is the row. This is the stage. The action actually, action type ID. Okay, so don't say that. The first action, let's see. Action type ID. It's a, it's an object. Category. A category that defined with action type the owner performs. This is gonna be source. First thing we're gonna do is fetching the code, so the category is a source. The owner, it's AWS. I think that's a required as well, it is. The provider. Provider is, it's code commit. this if I want to specify a version it's a required a version identifier for this action it's a string so let's call it 1.0.0 so this is the action the name it's required reaction. Okay, this is the first one. Now I wonder where I can put the manual approve. Invoke approval. So I can put everything inside one stage. I can I can have a lot of these auction. So in a single stage I can have all the auctions. So configuration. A JSON object. So the conf the configuration it's uh, depends on the things. It depends on this basically. So if I am in this case I am fetching the source code from code commit so the configuration will be the repository name and how should I monitor that something like that so if here you search code commit 
it doesn't take any input on artifact, it should provide one output artifact. And these are poll for source changes. this because it's um, so e Amazon is uh, suggesting do not poll for changes but instead um, start the, the pipeline automatically source is code commit event cloud watch event stick with that repository name this is the this is a parameters so parameters it's called, also called the domain That's the repository. I mean, I think uh, there should be an argument like repository type string. Input artifacts. Now the branch name. This is also required. This should be on this master. I don't have any, so we can remove this. Is required the action name required so let's call it source or can I call it like fetch source. Let's call it source output artifacts just a name for a region well let's see roll on not sure this is required Oops. 
source build approve and deploy. Then I will have another auction. Now it's time to build well actually. Um, This work as a name. Vector code pipeline. Right, so it's good. Nope. Nine thirty nine. Can this be something like this? I mean, I try. I try to give a better name, but if I can't, I will stick to this one. Search so speed approve and deploy. If I'm not setting the roll iron for each auction, it should take, it should assume the same role I'm setting for the pipeline. At least I hope that. Valve failed to satisfy. So this is not giving me the. Um, the arm probably this well. Let's return the arm. Type ID. Action type ID. Hmm. is an array of object where each object has a property called a 
function type ID, which is an object which has categories something like that. So why are you complaining about it? Actions one member action type ID version failed to satisfy constraints. So version should contain dots. Just do it one for now, it's not a problem. an artifact store in the correct region. Must have an artifact store such a artifact bucket. Yeah. I don't have that. <laughs> I wonder if I can I'm going to create a bucket and assign it in uh, this property. Wait a second, it doesn't have those, all of those properties. Yeah, it's just these ones. So, encryption not mandatory. I don't want to encrypt location. The name of the S3 bucket. I need to create an S3 bucket. So cloud formation template name variable. Yeah. Do I have custom variables, parameters? ID, no value partition. Stack ID, I got this stack name. So I wonder if I can create that. Uh, but the stack name should be. I need, so I need to create an S3 bucket. That's obvious. I was wondering what can I use as bucket name. I thought, well, maybe I can use them. the stack name. I would like to enter a new variable. Yeah. 
mystery bucket. Wow. Now that's Jason. Yum. Yum, love. Access control. What is access control? I don't need this. I don't need analytic. I don't need encryption. But I'm sure as hell that I need a bucket name. It's not required. You know what? I think. Course configuration, I don't need that. Inventory configuration, lifecycle, login, metric, notification, public access, tags. Is that anything required in this? No. I don't know. I think I'm just going to do this then. Just create a fucking bucket. So location, it's gonna be worth this. And the type. It's this one. Uh, for body body, you see the artifact store. Code pipeline. Uh, thing. Location type history sounds good. Looks very good. Let's uh, delete this. Let it stuck. Let's create a new one. Sources. All right. It's creating the S3 bucket and the IAM role. It's going to take some time. So the role is completed. The S3 bucket is completed. The pipeline phase. Minimum of two stages in a pipeline. All right. Okay. So I need to work on this. So I will have one stage called source, and then I will have another stage called build, and this is done. This is the location. This is the stage. This is the artifact store. Is this? This is the stage. Action blockers. Category. It's gonna be built. And who's gonna build it? It's called build. Version one, I think. Configuration. Configuration depends on the. Project name and primary source. What is primary source? There is no description. Right. 
so project name it's gonna be I need to create a new project it needs to be replaces the name of this will be build and output artifact will be build source also I need to create a new resource I knew it was going to be like uh, a lot so I didn't want to put in the same template this is it let's call it code build project give it this all right let's dig into it artifacts the output settings for artifacts that the project generate during a build interesting it's an object of this kind no it's an object encryption disabled true location should be like a code pipeline it relies on that the name alright required conditional if you specify code pipeline for the type property don't specify this property so I know this is code pipeline we need to specify this and this name as well. Namespace type required no. Override artifacts name. What should I? Packaging. I don't give a shit. Is the path English? It. It's not required. And the type, all right. Badge enabled. I can't. I like that. This is like uh, it gives you a new URL, uh, which you know it's a badge telling you how the pipe and how the the build is doing. It doesn't work. Cash. I don't know. I, you, you can specify in your project. So in the the website uh, project, you will add a file telling code build how you should build the project. So in my case, because it's a React application, you will run npm install. Uh, npm run build npm test and so on I will add those comments over there and also you can say what should be cached I mean I don't think I don't think I should cache anything for now description encryption key no longer environment if I want to specify this is not required type string okay this is required of course it's gonna tell me what uh, what machine the build will run on what uh, container image 
Type. Compute Type. Such a build general one small. I want the, the cheapest one. Medium or large? Small, it's enough. Environment variables. I don't have any, I think. And um, no, I don't have any. I was thinking I can reuse the same build project, passing different environment variables, and then using that for saying but for now I don't have environments so let's remove that image image is filled I know that uh, I know that IWS code build there are some defaults that I can use. Ubuntu. I need this one. It's going to be another project. So maybe this should be a parameter. Because what if I create a string website, but it's not in node? It's very uncommon because this is just the front end. You shouldn't be using Java or Android, PHP, Python, none of this. So I can assume this is this is a good choice in most cases. It's uh, and also it should be an extension of the general one, so you can always do the do something there. You can install dependencies something like that. Privileged modes. Nope. What is type? Environment type. Linux container, of course. Who would want to Linux container? Logs config. That's uh, painful. Logs usually means you need to enable. I mean, I don't care about that. Enable those. What's the name? The name of the project. Hmm. I can use uh, the name of the project. I can use the stock name. stuck in here yeah. and then build cloud formation stuck in parameter the brass is stuck in it's called Secondary artifacts. It's not required. Secondary source. Service role, I think that's necessary. Used to interact with services on your behalf. I'm not sure which one is needed. I can reuse 
this maybe. Just one for everything. Is it safe? So the code build the pipeline should have access to the S3 buckets. The white them. Um, I mean I think it's safe. You should you should not the access shouldn't be broad enough. Well, well, damages. Well, this has been deleted. Let's create a new one. I mean, I don't think. Wait a second. I think I have to finish this bit. Project name. Can I do ref called build project? Also, there is this cloud formation. Cloud formation get out. Which is going to have at least like code build. That's just a project called ARM, an attribute called ARM. So, we want to be very. We want the name, so I think that's the, the best uh, thing you can do. But besides that, oh, I think I should have an input artifact as well. These days. Stage the action input artifacts. And this is a list. Okay, I have uh, two stages, one action each. Next, takes a lot of time. I almost, it's almost uh, twelve. So I need to go. Just want to create uh, a base stock. Yeah, it's gonna build it. Mystery bucket. Code build project. Body property which does not match. Body or property triggers does not match object. Oh man. They might be minutes. Triggers would be config tags. Source. Service rule. I think I. Required. 
tags is not not required. Triggers not required. Source is something like that, like this. This is the file it's gonna read. Or similar. The file is gonna read. By the fourth is build spec. Git clone that. But none of this seems to be required. And secure SSL. Location. Build status. No. Type yes. Source type. That's the only one not really property. I think this should be code pipeline. Okay, let's try again. Delete this. Create a new stock. Upload the template. Python. Next. What is my repository? It's new vector.uk. Next. the S3 bucket and the IM role. The embryo is completed so now we can create the code build project. S3 bucket is completed so as soon as I have the build project I can create the pipeline. Build project is completed so now it's creating a pipeline which is also completed and the stack is completed. So hooray! Now, if I enter here and go to resources, I can see, no, not this one, the pipeline one, I can see it created the build project, the pipeline, the IAM role, and the bucket. So if I go to code pipeline, I should be able to see that. String. Oh my god, that's horrible. Don't care, it never run. But there is a string here. So I think I'm gonna change this to be WS slash slash stuff maybe. really use a stock name. The name of the build project, I think, for this as well, should be just a left. It would easily allow me to recognize that quickly. So I'm going to update for the last time. You should just rename the stock, the I'm sorry, the resources. If they don't want to require replacements, should be should be fine. If they required replacements, uh, I take a, a little bit longer, but not as long as updating uh, CloudFront distributions. 
that takes ages. Now what he's updating? He's updating the pipeline and the project. The project is updated. The pipeline. The project. Corbin. Oh, all right. It needs. It needs to recreate the project. And so, but the pipeline is updated. So if I go here, pipelines. I'm sorry, the project is updated. The pipeline is not yet updated. Oh no, now he's updating the pipeline. Alright, that one's the stock, alright. It's creating the old one. The pipeline should be updated. And uh, Yep, this is this is it. Let's give a look at the code here. Project. Oh, it was here. Awesome. That's it. So now I'm going to commit this. Fit. Add. S3. Website CI type long template. I'm gonna push that even though it's not finished. Alright, I'm gonna push because of this issue. But yeah, that's all. Bye.